much. All right, let's get me a little unboxing knife out again. Click, and let's get this thing unboxed. Oh, that's that. Rah! <laughs> I love doing that. I love my Flossy Carter. I can't believe I've been watching that guy, Flossy Carter, when his channel was nothing. Very small, hardly any subscribers. I better not lock this. Every time I lock it, there's something else to undo. Right. And I'm so happy that he's grown in such a way that he's a well-known YouTuber. Not just a YouTuber, people know of Flossie Carter. And it's surprising. I've been watching him. Oh, oh I nearly showed it there. <laughs> right, okay. I've done your box and let's rip that bit off there. Right, let's leave Flossie for a while. He's doing well himself. I'm trying to get myself on the bandwagon. <laughs> so I've got to concentrate what I'm doing. So let's crack on, guys. Let's open this box and show you what is in there. Wow, look at all these goodies. Right, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, let me turn that upside down. Put it the correct way instead of having it upside down. Look at that. All of this comes with the purchase of this. You purchase the watch. You get the watch. Let's get that out of the way. You get the Huawei FreeBuds 5i. Let's get that there. And you get the Huawei Band 9 watch, health watch. So all these you get for the same price as buying the watch on its own. So this is the freebies that you get. Just like what Samsung do, they always chuck in a little freebie to get you kind of, yeah, okay, I'm getting a bit more than what I paid for the watch. I'm getting these two bits. I could maybe sell these, although this is quite cheap from what I understand. This is only about 40 quid on Amazon. So this is cheap, but it's still 40 quid. Sell it for 25 quid. You've made 25 quid, didn't you? You know, and these, uh, I think it's about 100 quid, something like that. I can't remember now, but again, you could sell it for whatever you want and you sell these both together. That's chipped into the price of this. So you can look at it that way. So you're getting these two. You can either keep it, give it away or use it yourself if you haven't got any. And because Huawei are one of the better brands out there, it's a pity they've got a problem with America and England and uh, some of their stuff's being blocked, obviously, as we know. And uh, But they are really, really top notch. So I'm expecting a lot from these, although they don't cost a lot of money, but I'm sure they're really good. And obviously the watch uh, the health watch or smart watch. I don't know what it is really. If it's a smart watch, it's got Bluetooth. It's got certain functions. It's not as good as a smart watch, smart watch, a full blown smart watch. It's not into the Samsung and, and Apple watch territory, but it's a little health thing. It tells you obviously, you know, your steps and your heart rate and stuff like that, I presume. So, but this is what I'm here for. I'm going to chuck these over here because I'm not interested in those really. I've got like smart, I've got a health watch, I've got a smart watch, look at that, I've got a Samsung watch. So, you know, I'm not really too bothered. It's going to be nowhere as good as that. But this is, this is the first medically certified smart watch. Yes, first medically certified smart watch for your blood pressure. That's it. So not like this watch here, my Samsung, which says it does blood pressure readings, yeah? There's no pressure. There's no, there's no um, expandable wristband. It's not really testing the pressure of your wrist and trying to get your blood pressure reading accurately. It just gives some kind of an estimation through the sensors in the back of the watch. That's it really. That's not medically certified. It's just giving you a rough idea, you know, approximate. But this thing, this thing's approximate is kind of accurate to a normal blood pressure monitor. Everybody understands the upper arm blood pressure monitor is the best ones, but this can, 
this piece of equipment can get kind of very close to that. And that's what you want. You want to be able to get a reading that's as close as possible to the bee's knees, upper arm blood pressure monitor. And this is what does it in a con convenient package. You know, it's a watch, it's a normal smart watch. You can wear it all day, every day, and it will take your blood pressure and other health related things such as walking, running, sports uh, activities, anything like that, health tracking in general. So let's get it unboxed. So let's get my little unboxing knife out. Let's see if I can open this one up now, get all the wrapping off. Wow, look at that, oh, gee. quite a heavy box, it feels weighty. Let's shake that out now. Okay, get that, and that's how it looks, guys, in the box, a very nice box. Let's put that there, let's put that there, so I can get that in the shot so you guys can see what it comes with. Yep, that's it there, and it is so premium. Oh, there's a little flap here, it must say something. Yep, <laughs> I was gonna grab it like that, but I thought I'd follow the instructions, as they say, pull here. Oh yeah, that's it, wow, lucky I did. I would have been trying to pull it up through there, but I've actually lift that flap that's got an arrow on it. And that's it guys, it is so nice. Wow, it is a premium smartwatch. Unbelievable. It feels, it feels like, wow, it's not heavy. I think from what I understand, it's only about 40 grams. So it's quite light. You'd think that it's going to be very heavy and weighty and it's not, it's quite light, very premium feeling. Unbelievable. They have done a fantastic job. Look at the quality of this thing. It's unbelievable. It's just like a normal, regular, Samsung, Apple smartwatch of that same quality and feel, very premium feel. Aluminium feel, I think there. Let's get this thing off here. What does it say here? Let's read it first before I start ripping stuff off. Strap an airbag. Liquids such as sweat and soapy water may irritate your skin. Therefore, clean the watch in a timely manner before wearing it. Right, that's good. Obviously, it's come from the manufacturer. It could be, I don't know, manufacturing stuff on it that might irritate your skin. So if you give the strap a nice little clean, at least you've got a nice clean strap. Get rid of all that plastic um, um, material smell and whatever else you get with new equipment. So, oh, it's so hard to take off that bit. God, I'm gonna have to rip you off, mate. I'm trying to take it off nice and easy, but hey, I've just gotta rip it off. Oh, wow, very, very nice. So that clips, it's got a nice little clip there. Very premium clip, feels very nice, solid. Very, very solid. And as you can see, guys, look at the airbag. It's already on there, this one. Unbelievable, yep, it's already on. It's there, it says Huawei there. This is the airbag. So that's how it looks, guys, with the airbag on. Slim, very, very slim. And watching other reviews, they've said it's very, very quiet. I've seen some other reviews of people that have got it before me, and they've said it's very, very quiet even at night when you're sleeping. Now this is the Galaxy Watch 5, and as you can see, that is quite a chunky watch compared to this, which, what looks bigger to you? I'll tell you something, the Huawei D2 watch looks a bit smaller than the <coughs> Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, yep. The Galaxy Watch 5 Pro looks bigger to me. Look at that. Wow, so this is a, a matchup. And compared to the new Samsung 
Galaxy Watch Ultra and the new, well, I wouldn't say new, everybody's complaining about the Apple Watch because it looks the same as the other one, the previous one, last year's version, just a different color from what I understand. But anyway, compared to those ones, this looks much, much smaller and it does more. It does more stuff. It's a blood pressure monitor, an actual medically certified blood pressure monitor. So that's going to come off my wrist and sit over there somewhere because I'm going to put this on because from what I can see, it says it's a large strap, which would be what I would want. Right, it's, hey, hey it's actually thin. Look at that. I haven't adjusted anything and it kind of fits me. I think I've just got to take one or two notches out. It's a little bit tight, but this is what it would look like. I haven't adjusted it, I haven't done anything, but this is kind of how it would look. It feels a little bit tight with no adjustment. So I just need to adjust it and um, get it to my exact size. Let's see, I'm not gonna read the manual. I wanna see how easy it is to do it without reading. I hate reading manuals, although I know I'm gonna to have to read this because this is a blood pressure monitor and I've gotta get it exactly right or it won't be worth putting it on, will it really? Because it won't work properly. But just the adjustment of the strap, so easy, just lift it up like that and you move it at whatever notch you want. I'll move it a couple of notches down, click it back in and that's adjusted. That was easy, very, very simple. Didn't know, need to read any manual for that job. And that's it, that's better. Look at that, all done. No need to take out any screws or anything like that. It's all adjusted to my wrist. From what I understand, it's got to be a couple of centimeters away from here. I think it was here, which means I might have to take it a bit down more but there's plenty of room, plenty of strap space. Look at that. I've got a load more holes there that I could come further down if my wrist was a bit bigger than what it is. But I've already moved it down a few notches and it's okay. That's it, that's comfortable now. I can move it, that's it. I think this is what it will need to be when I decide to take my blood pressure reading. But that's it, that's all done. Now let's switch it on. Look at that. No manual, nothing, all adjusted. I think I'll just press this red button. See if that switches it on. No, nope, that's not it. I'll press the round button. See if that switches it on. Yep, that's it. No manual. It's the top button here, the round one. It's a scroll wheel as well. You just, it spins and it actually, um, you can get your readings. Oh look, it's done already, look, see? It spins and you can just adjust it where you want using the scroll wheel. So that switches it on. And I want obviously UK English, touch that. That's that, scan the QR code to download the health app on your phone, then add this device. So obviously I need to do some work here guys. So I'll have to see you lot in a moment. Catch you later. Right guys, I am back to scan this QR code. Let's see, let's get this scan. Let's find the scanner here. Where is it? Where is it? Scanner, scanner. Scan this QR code. Let's get this open here. Let's get this illuminated again so I can, oh, scan the QR code. That's it, all done. Okay, download Huawei Health, right. From all relevant instructions, select your phone brand. Now this phone here is the Vivo X Fold 3 Pro. And it's a wonderful phone. It's the best phone I've ever had. I've got the Samsung Fold 5. That's it, I have to remember which one it is because it's the Fold 6 now. I've got the Samsung Fold 5. And this, I won't say the word, but it does go to the toilet all over <laughs> the Samsung. It's a wonderful phone. Look at that. Oh, before I drop it now. Oh, that's all I would like to do is to drop it. But anyway, even if I did, I've got a wonderful Nelkin case on here. 
I'm diverting off a little bit. Covers the camera. Look at that, wonderful phone. It's a Chinese version, so there's a little bit of setting up to do, but once you get the hang of it, it is a wonderful phone. So, oh, I know you're gonna be watching to see. That's what it looks like when it's open. Look at that crease. If you can see one, very, very small crease there. One of the smallest, if not the smallest crease of any foldable phones. It, as I said, I won't say the word, goes to the toilet all over the Samsung Galaxy phones, um, the Samsung Galaxy Fold phones. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Very, very good. 5,700 milliamp battery, absolutely amazing. It goes for a whole 24 hours of intense use and I still come out with some change. Still got battery life. The Samsung, oh, I'd have to charge it up two, three, four times a day to get me through to the night time, I'm telling you. Awful, but I digress. I don't wanna get into the phone, although I'm sure you lot will be interested. Look at that, beautiful, wonderful. I'm sure you'll be interested in this. I haven't done a review of this because I've already unboxed it, opened it or whatever. So this is a quick mini review. Check it out, the Vivo X Fold 3 Pro. Wonderful phone. Anyway, I'm gonna pick Vivo and press reload here and it's gone to only accept essential cookies oh, i've i've got so used to doing that now i never just click accept i always do accept essential or i check the cookies and get rid of them all together let's install the health app opening external let's uh Oh, getting a lot of light reels there on my Instagram. Vloglife247 on Instagram if you want to check that out, guys. Got a few bits and bobs on there that you might be interested in. So it's just downloaded it now. And it's going to install it. Look at that. Ah, did you see that? That's the other thing with this. It's got a fingerprint reader actually on the screen, both inside and outside none of this side fingerprint reader like it's on the samsung's and other phones even the new uh what's it called the new honor that's it the new honor fold uh, magic fold 3 i think it's called the magic fold 3 it, fingerprint sensor on the side just like the samsung's this has it on the screen like a normal <laughs> candy bar phone you press it here wonderful even on the inner screen i'm digressing a lot here but this phone is so good it's look look at that bam done none of this up here lot anyway let's download this i've done it and i'm gonna open it there's a few settings i've got to do on a chinese phone to actually get it to work um such as the location services notifications etc you've got to do all of that manually these phones are really locked down they don't let you use an app just like that you've got to give it permission look see it's going to ask me so much stuff the notifications this that to get you to use it that's what the app looks like so obviously i haven't got a actual account so let me log in me huawei id and i'll get back to you catch you in a minute right guys all done i've logged into my huawei account and what i need to do now what's this huawei health plus that's a membership scheme i don't want any of that let's just start off nice and easy I just want to get this watch connected. Right, as you can see, there's the watch there, 350 pounds. Uh, that's how much it costs, guys. This is it. And they do installments, interest-free, obviously. And yeah, this is it. This is the special offer. You get the Huawei Watch D2 
and then you get the band nine which is that smart watch but you get 40 pounds off so it costs about 40 quid for the uh band nine the, the watch band nine but they knocked that off so that's free and then here's the buds the huawei free buds 5i nebula black that's the one i got but you can get it's a bluey version, I think it is. And um, yeah, those and a white, I think, as well, if they've still got that ceramic white, yeah. They've got blue, Isle blue, ceramic white, and obviously nebula black, that's what I got. And plus, you get extended warranty service for smart sports and health devices, class C. So that's a 12-month extended warranty so what was the warranty before then I, I don't know what that means yeah 12 months is that a two-year warranty or is it just one year and um and they just class it as extended i don't know assume that's the one year statutory one year and then obviously you get an extra year uh, which was 20 pounds but they've knocked that off as well so that's what you get 350 quid for all these three bits what I showed you. The watch, I'll tell you what, let's get, there, get it up there like that so it looks quite nice. So the watch, the Huawei band and the free Buds 5i. So um, I'm trying to do this without reading the manual. It says here, the health app, the health app requires the nearby device's permission to discover and add devices. So let's enable that straight away, yeah? So I've done that. Add device, let's see, it's scanning for a device and it's picked up the watch right it's picked it up so let's press connect and it's connecting and i'm gonna put allow and now it says that i'm asking for a pairing request so i'm gonna press yep again as i said to you this is a chinese phone so it's always going to ask you to allow or not allow something oh i didn't even press anything there and it just went on to it so this is all the bump read at your leisure guys if you want to read that i'm not going to read it i'm just going to check i have read and agreed there's nothing much more that i can do unless i'm a bit of a nerd and i'm going to read for all of it and find something wrong oh that's it and i've pressed next and it's paired that is it all paired as you can see it says paired and it says it's paired there I'm just gonna do these bits on here. Paired, auto download updates over Wi-Fi. Yep, okay, auto install updates and restart device when it's not in use. Yeah, I'm gonna check that. And that's gonna continue as well. Make sure the watch is in normal use. Um, messages from apps such as WhatsApp, SMS can't be received. Calls can't be answered, battery life reduced third party app stop working these are all the things that are being blocked at the moment so it's going to ask me to actually <laughs> bypass it via the vivo this is the phone this is the phone blocking everything so this is nothing to do with the actual watch everything can work but it's asking me to allow it to work so i've got to get the vivo phone to say yes to everything so it's a bit of a laborious process so i'm not going to let you watch this and get bored you do it for your own phone whatever your phone is you set it up how you want so i'll get back to you in a moment right all done guys all done got it all connected and all the permissions set quite a few permissions i've got to go through to get the uh phone to allow the, the huawei health app to work so that's all done so all it is to do now is to let's check the watch out first and let's get this set up let's press next here uh, double press to switch between open tasks it's just going through like a little tutorial to show you uh, what to do next to scroll yeah rotate crown to scroll up or down and that's done there's nothing much more to do than that and it says here, uh, a usage notice, 
uh, read the product manual carefully before starting a measurement. Do not use this for self-diagnosis or self-medication. Make sure to consult a doctor first. This is only a guide, guys. Although it's medically certified, it's still only a guide. You still need to see a GP to get any medication or to find out um, uh, what's the best course of uh, action to take. So that's that. So it says start measurement. Right, with your consent, Huawei device will process your blood pressure data to provide this service. Okay, so they're gonna have to do that. So let's press agree. This service is only intended for use by adults, not for kids, guys, just for adults. It's telling me to measure my wrist. I've got to measure it. And that's another bit of equipment that was in the box, which I'm gonna get now. So, it's a measuring tape that you need to use to measure. Let's get everything out of the box now. I think I've had a bit of fun with the watch. I was so excited I didn't even finish the rest off. I just wanted to see the watch. But obviously it's got the charger. Another band. Uh, does it say medium? This is the medium band. So you've got medium, I've got the large on my wrist currently, and you've got the measuring tape to measure your wrist size. So that's the next thing you're gonna do. As it says on my phone here, it says wear the device correctly. That's the main thing. If it's not correct, it's not gonna give you accurate blood pressure reading. Using the animation as guidance, wrap the tape measure around your wrist markings facing up to measure your wrist circumference, then use the results to determine what size cuff you need. I think I know what cuff I need. I definitely ain't going for a medium, but hey, let me do what it says. <laughs> because obviously I might think, oh, the large one's okay. But then they'll think, well, use the medium. And I'm thinking, oh, okay then. So let's get this open. Let's take this lovely watch off. Oh, it's so nice. It is so nice. And let's open this thing up. And it's just literally, it's just a bit of paper really. It's just a bit of paper, but obviously it wants me to measure my wrist circumference. And it says here, using the animation, make sure that the, see, I've got it the right way. There's a red arrow. Oh God, I'm getting out of focus here. Let's get this back in shot here, right? That's what happens when you're trying to film something and everything moves out of joint there. So there's a little red kind of an arrow here and that needs to be facing up. And basically, from what I can see in the animation, you just got your two fingers here from your kind of the joint of the wrist. Once you get it there, you move this cuff there, this measuring tape, I should say. And then you just, bring that in you bring that in keeping your cuff thing and find a number so my wrist circumference make sure I've got that there from the wrist yep yeah. so my wrist circumference is about don't want to pull it too hard about 18 yeah, so my wrist circumference, 18, 19, it depends. I mean, I could flip between the two. It depends on how, how hard you squeeze it, you know. So, yeah, I'm large anyway, as you can see. The white bit there is large and the black section is medium. So I'm going to be large anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I'm still within the, the large area. So which I knew anyway, but hey, I was just showing you guys how to do it really. <laughs> showing you and showing yourself, because sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, so I've got that. I'm a large. Select the cuff size and buckle hole based on your wrist circumference. So, okay, I've done that, but it says there is a wrist circumference side. Ah, right, okay, it's inside. Because I've got the blood pressure cuff already on here, let me pop that out. Right, that's it. 
I don't know if you'd be able to see it. So, but anyway, in here, there are markings. And the markings are obviously the numbers that were on here. So I said I was between 18 and 19 from what I could see. Got it on 18. <laughs> I'm actually on 18. Yep. So that's fine. That's exactly what I said it was using the tape, 18. So that is good to go. That is all good to go. So, yep, I've got me two fingers there, just at the right thing. Not too tight, but not too loose. That's great, so I think I'm getting there. So, wear the device correctly. For the blood pressure measurements, make sure to keep still and hold your arm so that the watch is level with your heart. So you know, got to find where your heart is. Should be in the same place as everybody else, but wherever your heart is, <laughs> that's where you've got to make sure your arm's level too. And once you've got that, you are good to go. Wow, guys, this is going to be a long review, isn't it, this one? But let's just go through a few bits and pieces. It's got a speakerphone, and yep, it's microphone, the weight is 40 grams, so that's very, very light. It's a 1.82 inch AMOLED screen, and it is 480 by 401 pixels of a PPI of 371. So for those that want to get technical, there it is, all technical. These are the sensors that it's got. It's got nine axis IMU sensor, which is a, an accelerometer, gyro sensor, and a magnetometer sensor. <laughs> That's real technical now, isn't it? You want it technical, you're getting it technical. It's got an optical heart rate sensor, it's got an ECG sensor, ambient light sensor, barometer sensor, temperature sensor, differential pressure sensor, and a hall sensor whatever that is, but hey, it's got all the sensors you'll ever want. Uh, it's got a rotating crown and a function and ECG button. That's what that is. That's, it's water resistant, guys. Remember that, water resistant. It's not waterproof. So be careful. You're not gonna go swimming in this. You're not gonna do anything of that nature, any saunas, any watery environments, strictly just showers just just a bit of rain a bit of water it's standard standard for dust and water resistant nothing special and that is really it basically it comes in two colors black and gold if you look on the website there's two colors the gold's quite nice a bit too bright for me to be walking around with day to day that's why i didn't bother getting the gold it's a bit too flashy this is just nice but as you can see it's still really really nice um design and color aluminium alloy nice aluminium casing there it's got nfc so it supports nfc so if you've got any types of payments this can support it it's got an nfc chip in it bluetooth 5.2 one of the older bluetooth versions now i think the latest is 5.4 so obviously it's not a real up-to-date bluetooth uh, chip it's got in there but it's good enough and it's running on Harmony OS, as we know, which is a proprietary, obviously, Huawei software there. So it can link with Android and iOS. So iPhones, Androids, it'll link and it'll give you the same reading. The battery life of Huawei's, of all, or Huawei's, I've realised now I've been saying it wrong, Huawei's has been really, really good. Their battery life compared to other watches is oh, amazing absolutely amazing and as such the battery life of this is up to six days given typical usage so basically typical means everything on everything on have you noticed i haven't said gps there's no gps here right so forget that but anyway six days typical usage but if you use the ambulatory 
blood pressure monitoring, which is 24 hours, you're gonna get up to about a day's use. The battery can last up to one day using the blood pressure feature, 24 hour blood pressure feature. But the battery life is still good. I mean, 24 hours and you're gonna get your blood pressure read every few minutes or whatever. It's, that, that's really good. And if you don't wanna do it every day, or all day, I should say, you can get up to six days of doing your walking, your running, and your other sort of activities uh, being recorded. That is really, really good. So what I'm gonna do now is just show you quickly how the blood pressure tracking works or how to do your blood pressure, basically. So there it is there. So what I would do is just press it there and it will say measure. There's one I've done earlier. So that's really, really good. And that's the only recording you're gonna see because I'm not gonna do the one I'm gonna take now because it's not gonna work properly. But then you just press measure and it gives you a little diagram there telling you what to do. Put your wrist with the watch up to your heart, near your heart, but don't touch your chest. And as you can see, it's pumping up. I can feel the wristband inflating. And as you can see, it's measuring there as it inflates, it says keep still during the measurement. Now, if I was doing this properly, it would obviously work, but it's gonna say failed. But as you can see, it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter around my wrist. I'm squeezing on it, just like a normal wrist blood pressure monitor. Wow, it's really good. It's actually, measuring because I'm keeping still I might get a reading here wow I did <laughs> 166 over 102 not very good I've got to get to the doctor wow but as it says at the top there incorrect position try again so obviously I've got a really skewed <laughs> um, result there but that's how it works I could feel it inflating around my wrist. Oh, amazing <laughs> for such a small device to be doing that. It's awesome. But that's it guys. That's how to take your blood pressure. What I'm gonna show you now is just, let's take it off, tell you the truth. I'm just gonna show you a few watch faces. Let's see how this works. I'm trying to see where the free ones are. I want, ah, that's it. There's a button called free. That's what I wanna see. So these are the freebies. These are quite nice. Look at that, I like that planet one. That looks nice. Let's install that, see how that one looks. That one looks quite nice, but let's see what the freebie one. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that, look at that earth. And the screen is so crisp, very, very crisp. I'm trying to find another one. I saw another one of my favorite YouTube reviewers. Chiggs did a review of this, the watch band nine he hasn't done a review of this yet i'm sure he will and it'd be a hundred times better than mine's but hey i'll give it a go but he done a review of this and um yeah he 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 really said it was good the watch band nine for the price it's only about 40 quid i'm here cheap as chips as they say but yeah these screen uh, watch faces are really, really nice. There's quite a lot of free ones, not a lot, lot. I mean, I won't say it's a lot, but you know, it's, it's I mean, Samsung watches have got tons, uh, but chuck something on like Facer. I'm not sure Facer can work on here. If it can, you'll have loads of watch faces if you can get Facer on here. But if not, there's a lot of watch faces to keep you going. Yeah, no, it's just to tell the time and a few health bits of data. And obviously the main party trick of this is your blood pressure. Yep, that's it. That's the review, guys. The Huawei Watch D2. Links in the description if you want to get it before the promotion's over. Because as they say, once the promotion's done, it's done and over. So get it now while the promotion's on, if you need it. And as I said earlier, this watch could save your life. Catch you guys later.